Hey everyone, Brian Claxton here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cut the perfect sound hole in this 18 inch resonant black Evans head. So let's get into it. So before we get started, I definitely recommend that you pick up something like this, which is a drum O, which I'll be using today, or a kick port to use for the head after you cut it. Because otherwise, if there's nothing protecting that hole itself, you're pretty much just asking for a bass mic to just rip right through that head. And you definitely don't want that. So for me, I got this guy here. This is the other side to it, and it both has sticky pieces, so it'll just stick like this, and then we'll be good to go. Now I have to introduce to you the most important tool here. So instead of using an X-Acto knife, I got this guy here, the Bass Drum O's Cutter. This is made by Big Bang Distribution, if I'm not mistaken. And basically it gives you this little point here for your center and a nice little cutting wheel. And then all in here you can see numbers and they're all in inches. So that way you choose your five inch hole and put it in there, you're good to go. Now if you have a smaller hole you can always just take this guy out, pop it in a different one and then boom, cut around, get your small little circle. So let's get this guy in the five inch. Now if you don't actually know what size hole you need, this guy here, if you just put that there on the inside and go around, you can see that that's perfectly in the center. So you know that this is a five inch hole. But anyways, let's get cutting. All right, so we first gotta figure out where we wanna put this guy. So I like it on the right side, and basically you don't wanna go too close to the edge, so what I'm gonna do is just put my finger here and basically go to the first knuckle. So somewhere right about there, just a little off from center. Something like that looks good. So I'm gonna basically go like this. It doesn't have to be exact, but at least somewhere close to where you want it, obviously. And we're gonna poke our hole, just like so. So our hole is through. And now we're gonna go to the other side, poke through again. All right, so we're there. Now, here, put that guy underneath just so we don't cut the floor. And here we go, just gotta cut the hole. So, press down. Look at that, perfect hole. So what I'm finding is you should hold down on the edge where the cutter is, kind of common sense, but clearly I didn't do that. But, there we go. Boom. Looks good to me. Nice. Perfect hole. Alright, so, next up, we have to take this guy, actually this guy, <laughs> and we're gonna put this on. So, we gotta remove the sticky part. So, and we're gonna push this down. Just like that. Now I see here there's a little lip. So you want to push this all the way down so the lip catches. And same with this guy. So, just like so. And this goes on this side here. Actually a little difficult to put down. I've never used this guy before. So. All right, so now that that's all in there, flip it over, boom. We got ourselves perfect hole for the base head. Looks pretty mint in my opinion, don't you think? Now, as I mentioned before, it's the very first time I ever used that tool, and you saw firsthand how easy it was. So that being said, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for everything I used today so you guys can pick yourselves up some and make it super easy on you. Now, for anybody wondering why I cut a hole in an 18 inch head, you're gonna have to wait till the next video for that one. Now as always, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you dig it and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time.